Okay, so now the software is installed and my SIM card is, alre is already inside the PL. So I just need to switch it on. And before anybody says it's not an Apple PL, it is. I just covered the logo at the back with an Apple sticker. So I'll switch the PL on right now. So my network operator name has now come up. So I can show you that it doesn't work now. I will now try and make a phone call from this mobile phone to the peel. Now I'll try to make a call with the peel. It doesn't seem to be doing anything. No. Nothing at all. Not even making the drinking sound. And it says it's calling. But clearly it's not. It's on loudspeaker and I can't hear anything at all. Now I'm trying to end the call. And it's not ending the call at all. It's just frozen on the screen. Let's try this button on the side. No. I'll just have to press that and get off. Now I'll try to use the SMS function. So I'm just texting the other phone right now. I'm just going to type hi and press send. See that line? That blue line hasn't disappeared, which means it's not sent the message because it's meant to go, that line is. And look, empty screen, no message. I'll now try and send a message to the PL from here. So. Send message. Let's see. Hi. Don't know whether you can see that. It's quite faint. Sending the message. Message sent. And there's nothing on the SMS there, as you can see. Nothing at all. I think this is just some dodgy product that's made in China. Um, it's just a cheap bit of plastic, to be honest with you. It might work temporarily, but in the future, it'll stop working. On the on the iSky Peel website, you can only pay by Visa, Mastercard, and something called HiPay, which I've never used. 
and maybe they're telling you to pay by these methods and not PayPal because you will get a refund. The reason I can't get a refund even though I paid on PayPal on eBay and just in case the seller sees this and says Oh, it wasn't me. It definitely was him because they had a link to iSkyPeel.com to iSkyPeel.com and also had the same Facebook link to the European agent with the same address, same phone, phone number and everything. So I think the person's gone off eBay because eBay found out they're selling fake products quality products that just don't work after a while and I can't get a refund because it's been over the 45 days it, it, that I've paid for this item. Overall, I'd steer clear from these type of products. If you want an iPhone, buy the real thing. Don't buy things like this. It's a waste of money. Thanks for watching. Bye.